feel a bit like Dennis Walter here. As you can tell from the uh, crappy streamers and plethora of foam cups in the background, it's that office Christmas party time of the year again. <laughs> now, these can be pretty gruelling events, so we've prepared a bit of a guide to help you get by. Let's start with the key players, the biggest group at any office Christmas party are the office sucks who spend the entire evening hovered round the boss trying to grease up by laughing at all his jokes. So I said, of course it's not moving. It's the stationary cabinet. <laughs> Boy, this uh, fruit cup really knocks you around a bit. I suppose that's why they call it punch. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Well, I'll uh, have to be going home soon. My wife's seriously ill. <laughs> Another key player at uh, your Christmas parties is the office sleaze. Now, this desperado thinks that 12 months of sexual frustration is about to come to an end just because it's Christmas and he's got the chick from accounts payable over near the cafe bar. And? And you know, you know what I, I really, really like about you? My eyes. Your tits. <laughs> I'll drop my decks. I'll drop my decks if you want me to. Drop my... I can't believe he, he lucked out with a line like that. But, of course, for every office sleaze, you also have the office slut. You'll, you'll generally find her perched atop a filing cabinet. <laughs> The office slut has no shame, no inhibitions, and it's a special treat for the guests tonight, no undies. <laughs> now, office Christmas parties are, of course, a time for romance. Some romances begin. Oh, uh, Penny, it's, it's really good that I found you alone because uh, there's something I've been meaning to give you. There. Can I read it now? Oh, actually, you can't read it because it's... Um, uh Photocopy of your bum. Meanwhile, meanwhile, some romances come to an end. Richard, I think we really need to talk. It's about us. Yeah, look, Helen, I, that's great, and I'm happy to, but I really don't think right now is the time. But or why? Because I'm standing right next to my wife. Yeah, oh. she's she's a babe. I think you'll. <laughs> Just look. He's, um, he's not wearing a wig. I'm not sure. It looks like one to me. Of course, office Christmas parties are a time for people to have a few drinks and get a few things off their chest. I'm going to tell him! 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 Hello, Mr. Boss Manager, fourth floor. Smarty pants. I'm going to tell him. I think your company is... And you're shit, and I couldn't give a stop about this place. I hate it. I hate your company, and you can go and get stopped. Well, you're certainly the most forthright work experience kid we've ever had. <laughs> I just tell it like I see it, mate. That's all right. Say it like I see it. Thank you. Of course. No Christmas party would be complete without the farewell to a member of staff. All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. <laughs> listen up. Shelly here <laughs> is leaving us tonight. And um, I, I really thought about it a lot. I really, oh. I, I weighed up all the options. I really, it was a big decision to make, you know. Mm. And uh, I guess being sacked really helped the matter. <laughs> so thanks. Shout out. Shout out. We couldn't let them leave. What? What? A what? Little special what? something. Oh, no. What have you done? Still Do it, up. please. Yeah, it it's a photocopy of your bum. <laughs> I love it. 
from Stuart. Of course, the most coveted role at any Christmas party is that of Santa. Let's face it, it's a chance for grown men to go the grope in the relative safety of a suit and fake beard. Oh, look, it's Santa! Here, beware of double bookings. Oh, no.